Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But God's for people here for a best shit hitting the fan, Israel. The Lord been warning you, Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American. And look, man, the squeeze. He putting the squeeze on this place. I'm, I'm, I got like two, two, three articles, and then I'm going to wrap it. This is something quick about to head out the door, Lord willing, get this day to bread. Look, look, it, it, we're, we're here. We're here. So look, sorrows. Remember the, the beginning of sorrows, famine. You people thought everything was a damn joke. You played around too damn long. It's too late for the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You Israelite men. Anyway, it's too damn late. All right, let's, let, let's get this. Is it illegal to sleep in your car? Remember car life? Remember van life? Remember you you posted all your info? And you people are stupid as hell too. Everything you do, you post it on the internet. Everything you do, you post on the internet. Now that you, you, the government like, oh, oh really? It. They don't want to rent apartments no more. They don't want to rent houses no more. Oh, look, look. We, we got a trick for their asses. We got a trick for their asses. Mainly you women, too. This who's making videos the most. Or, or that van life shit. That um, camping life shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 look. Is it illegal to sleep in your car? Just so I'm quick. And you, can, you can look it up. You can look it up. I, I'm, I'm on what? I'm on the finder. Go to the finder and, and look, look, type this in. Is it illegal to sleep in your car? I'm going to go through it pretty quick, too. Local laws are, are the deciding factor for car camping. Listen now. Car camping, including state and city parking laws. Listen now. While you were singing five, four, three, two, one, they was passing laws, you know what I'm saying? The further will press your ass, you know what I'm saying? Five, four, three, two, one, happy new year, happy new year, all right? Happy new year. What it say? Catching a snooze in your car may or may not be allowed, but you're free, though, right? Remember, you, you said you was free, right? Everyone says they're free. You can't make me do that. You can't. I, I'm free. I'm an American. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be an American. With your with your hand, you know what I'm saying? Right there by your forehead, saluting up in the air, you know what I'm saying? With the same catching a snooze in your vehicle may or not be allowed, but you're free though, right? We've been telling you you're still in captivity. You got a birth certificate, an ID, a social security card, a passport. You're still a slave, right? Depending on the state or city laws even in areas where it's illegal where it's legal you you might not be allowed to park on city main streets the highway or public property not designated for parking however you can find a few locations that are commonly open to overnight visitors is sleeping in your car uh, legal you won't find a nationwide law banning people from sleeping in their cars however you must follow the states or and cities parking laws and any specific laws against sleeping in your car in general it's best to find designated areas uh, overnight parking areas ahead of time. Let's let's see, cause something that I read. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Um, cause I know um now soon come to get ready to start giving you time. Just just bear with me. Just bear with me. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> bear with me. Let's see, cause it was something that I read to where. Let's see. I'm just looking through it. Bear with me. It's early in the morning. You can read through it, but I read somewhere, me and the brother Kabbalah was reading it yesterday. You know what I'm saying? You can get life in prison. You know what I'm saying? They pass a law to where you can get life in prison. You know what I'm saying? Or either or either end up in front of a firing squad. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pressed for time. Or end up in front of a firing squad. You can read through this. It's somewhere in here. You end up getting put into a, in, in front of a firing squad for sleeping in your car. You see, and it's in here somewhere. I, I'm kind of pressed with time. I just want to. I just want to show you that article. You can go to it. A brother might want to do a response video, but but now they they're making it illegal to sleep in your car, man. All right, they're passing the laws. 
We read, we read it yesterday, you know what I'm saying, um, on our over form. You can go and look at it. You see, we did an over form yesterday. But I want to get this little look. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of peasants. Those miseries are starting to kick in. Let, let's, let's get this. And look, before things spring forth, we tell you of it. Let's get this. Just something quick, too, like I said before. This is um, Ezekiel. Chapter 7, bear with me. Let's see. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, says, always thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, right? And evil, and only evil, behold, is coming in a bad time, on top of bad times, on top of bad times. That's all you see. And the end is come, the end of this age, right? The end is come, and watch it for thee, behold, it is come. Let's read down. And I could have got the good news translation, but like I said before, I'm pressed for time. Ezekiel 7 and 25, and it reads, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. You see? We're in the midst of destruction. Bear, bear with me. 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 50, and it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the light of time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Now, listen to this right here. Listen, look, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. Where in the United States is it illegal to be homeless? They, look, they, they pass on laws no to where you can't even be homeless anymore. Let's read this. From a legislative perspective, it is illegal to be homeless in virtually every state in the U.S. You, you, you didn't know that, though, right? You didn't know that, though, right? You see, everybody's too damn smart for their own good. You're so smart, you're dumb, right? You didn't know this was on the books, right? Every state in the U.S. except for two, Oregon and Wyoming, and, and you know that it ain't going to be like that anymore. This data comes courtesy of the investigative report first published on the National Homeless Law Center in 2019, 2019, I call it, and updated again in 2021. The report as entitled Housing Not Handcuffs showed that 47 states had law criminal, laws criminalizing homeless people engaging in self-sustaining activities. Did you, not, did you not hear that? <clears throat> did you not hear that? They, they pass on laws, you know what I'm saying? Laws on the books to make it to where you can't even self-sustain yourself, right? What is that one about, um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Bear with me. And you can read through it. They look they, they pass on laws, you know what I'm saying, to where um it's a crime to be homeless, you know what I'm saying? And um and if they catch you in an area, you know what I'm saying, more they give you three times. It's, look, it's gonna be um what is it, um a fed? Um, threats. It's a three strike law. You can look it up. It's a three strike law, you know what I'm saying, pertaining to being homeless, right? If they catch you, you know what I'm saying, um in the woods sleeping, and I, and I said, look, look, I, I got a video of which I can't show, you know what I'm saying, to where they, they, they bulldoze, I'll probably put the link in the description box to where they bulldoze, you know what I'm saying, a whole homeless encampment, you know what I'm saying, people, they didn't even allow the people to go in and get their dogs or anything, they just bulldoze, and I'm not even going to play it because I know the video, I know this video will be ticking down. But I put the video in the description box to where they bulldoze in a whole um, homeless encampment. You know what I'm saying? This recently with, with the pets inside the damn home and inside the tents and shit like that, man. Just bulldozing the whole shit. Evils and only evils, man. You see? And now they're passing laws so where if, if you, you get caught, you know what I'm saying, um, three times being homeless, they, they, either, they either send you to prison, which you know they ain't going to, it's too many homeless people to send them all to prison and put them in concentration. They, they say they're just going to put you in, in front of firing squads. And you ain't got to take my, my word for it. You can just read through this article. I'm kind of pressed for time, so I'm not going to be able to read, read through it. And look at that shit. In other words, you are homeless. You can be cited or arrested for engaging in any of the following actions in public. Loafing. You can get arrested for loafing, lottering, um, resting, standing, sleeping, sitting, laying down. Are you Are you not seeing this? Second Edge chapter 8 verse 50 is hard, man. The, the squeeze, they putting the squeeze on this place. Remember, Proverbs 21 and 1, it says, The king's heart in his mind is in the hand of the Lord. And, and whithersoever he will, he turn it, man. And he's turning for it, whithersoever he will. So it's the Lord putting the spirit you know what I'm saying, on these devils. The Lord is controlling these devils that uh, come forth with these unrighteous decrees, right? Let's see. 
Is this the part? Look, criminalizing homelessness costs taxpayers millions of dollars. It is a cruel, ineffective way to overcrowd prisons and not solve the homeless crisis at hand. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to put you in front of the firing squads, man. I read it in this article. I mean, I'm pressed with time. So you might have to read it yourself. It's, it's in here, though. Let me see right quick. As per housing, not handcuffs report, 24 states featured laws that restrict laudering, um, vagrancy, or loafing in designated public spaces. Are you not hearing this, Israel? 16 states boast that 16 states boast those same laws, but they apply to all regions, not just designated public areas. 15 states boast anti-capping laws that make it illegal to pitch a tent or other makeshift shelters and designated public spaces. Four states boast those same laws, but attract the restriction statewide, not just in designated states. 36 states prohibit standing in roadways. Six states prohibit public sleeping and laying down. Are you not hearing this? Four states have made it illegal to sleep inside a vehicle. You see? And it is going, it's going from, from sea to shining sea. You see? Damn. Damn, man. It, it, it's, really, it's really going down, Israel. I want to see that part, you know what I'm saying, where they're um, going to put you in front of a firing squad. Because it's in here. <clears throat> I'm kind of pressed with time, so you're going to have to um, read through it yourself. All across America, being homeless is a crime. Are you not hearing this? Are you not hearing this? You're not going to be able to sleep in your car soon, come. You're not going to be able to sleep in your car soon, come, Israel. All right? Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. You ain't going to be no more van life. They coming through. Don't think they ain't coming through. They coming through. And everybody that was independent, remember, everybody was independent. You fit, look, look, you use bamboos or you fell for the bullshit. You see, you fell for sleazy, stupid nonsense. It's just, it's just straight up stupid. Women so smart, you stupid. You see, them, them damn college degrees made you stupid. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this one more time. Second, like I said, well, this is going to be something quick. Second, Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. But you ain't know that though, right? Everybody's so damn smart. You're just like men and women. You're not going to be able to sleep in your damn vehicles anymore. That van life shit, that's just over. It's over. That sleeping in your car shit, that's over. You shouldn't have never showed them videos. You should have kept them videos to yourself, but no, just got to show every, everything, every, everything you do, you got to put on the damn gram or you got to put it on the damn fake book. You got to put it on social media, social media whores, right? I, I, I want to I get that. But, but I got one more article, bear with me. And you can go look this up. It's right here on the, um, what website is this? You type, type in this right here, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it'll pop up. You see, it'll pop up. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 16. This will be my last one because I'm pressed for time. Second Ezra chapter 16. You go look all these up. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. And it reads, Woe is me, woe is me, destruction, destruction. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. Matter of fact, let's just click on it. Let's just click on it. It says the beginning of wars, little the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. You look, look, you still think we're living in peaceful times? You still think we're living in peaceful times? The look, the beginning of war, look great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Seek the Lord like you've been doing. That's why the scriptures say, make no terror to turn to the Lord and don't put it off from day to day for suddenly. Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. You little woe to them that are at ease in Zion. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. This comes from the New York Post. Look, Toronto police slammed for advising residents to leave car keys with, within easy reach for thieves. 
We get to get that out of for thieves to avoid violence. Right? Listen to this, Nim. I'm not even gonna play the video. Look, Toronto police are being um, ridiculed for essentially advising Canadians to print preemptively give thieves their car no I butchered that word to give thieves their car keys to avoid potential violent altercation police issued the strange tip as more you know what I'm saying cause shit, shit hitting the fan see a prudent man for see if they even hide us from stuff but the summer passed on and a punish we, we've been telling you according to the Bible that they, it's going to be law going to be the wild wild west out here man lawlessness at an all time all time high why you think they bringing them so called illegals over here you see then you got some people from Haiti you know what I'm saying now, all the people from well not all of them but a large majority of those people over there in that um, violence stricken you know what I'm saying country Haiti they over here already they coming up from the from the um, from um from South America, man. All right? They're already here. Police issued a strange tip as more and more thieves have been breaking into homes and stealing people's cars. Are you not hearing this, Israel? Are you not hearing this? To prevent the possibility of being, you see, A-double-T-A-C-K-E-D in your home, leave your fobs at the front door because they are breaking into your homes to steal your cars. They don't want anything else. Yeah, that's what they say. They don't want anything else, man. All right? And then they're going to do it right there, you know what I'm saying? They said it. Leave your car keys, you know what I'm saying, at the damn door, you know what I'm saying? Leave your car keys at the door, in the chair, so the thieves, you know what I'm saying? You, tell me, you mean tell me, this ain't, this ain't evils. Evils, man. You can't sleep in your car, you know what I'm saying? You can't sleep in the woods. You, hell, you can't, you know what I'm saying? And if, if a thief breaking your house, you know what I'm saying? Look, you can't use deadly force, you know what I'm saying? You got to call the police. But then uh, in the same breath, the police say they're not coming. You know what I'm saying? I, I, we've been bringing it out, man. So I know with the elder apostle slash elder bishop, the great minister, we were bringing out them articles where the police said they're not going to come to your house for certain emergency calls. Like I have a woman getting, getting oops outside the damn head, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? By anybody, they say, look, that's, that's not worth us coming out there anymore, all right? A woman lying to the police telling us somebody's doing something to me. They're like, no, no, we're not, we're not following for that. We're not putting our lives on the line for that nonsense no more. It's, 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 too, it's costing the tax people too much money to, to, um, to come to all these stupid calls, man. All right? Somebody's in my garage. We're not coming out there for that. All right? My house is on fire. We're not coming out there for that. Do you, do you, not, do you not see what's going on, man? You don't have any help anymore. You see? Let's see. Bear with me. Look, you want the news, then damn it, we ain't give it to you. All right? Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18, and reads the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Then this is happening, man. It is happening. It says the beginning of famine and, and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Look, jobs are closing down by the thousands. Hell, family, what is it? Um, Dollar Tree closing down thousands of stores. Don't say that's thousands of jobs. The is, 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 the, the, the uh, what it say? The, um, the mirth of the city is being taken away, man. The thrill is gone, Israel. I just want to do something quick, man. Just bring out like three little articles right quick, you know what I'm saying? They're making another crime, you know what I'm saying? Jail time for being homeless, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, you know, even, even out there begging for money and all that, that's scary. They're getting ready to um, do away with that too. You see? That van life, they get ready to do away with that. You know what I'm saying? Crime is at an all time high. It's going to be more spoiler. We've been telling you people, man, according to the Bible, man, what's coming down the pipeline. But look, we don't know what we talk about, though, right? Remember? We look, look we, we don't know what we talk about. Seek the Lord, Israel. Do it now. Stop waiting, man. The hell are you waiting on? Let's get this right quick. They're passing laws right up under your eyes, but you don't, you, don't know, you don't know what the hell going on. You ain't paying attention. The scriptures say the, the, the storehouse is going to be found with nothing in it soon come. You see? Let's get this right quick. First Thessalonians. Just one quick one. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3. And it reads, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as shall veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I, I just wanted to know, say, just, you know, throw something out there. <laughs> report the news as we usually do in the news. Report the news. You, you already know how it is. In the last days, proudest time shall come. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. The love of many, then wax cold already. I want one more precept, then I'm gone, because I'm pressed for time. I got a roll. St. Matthew chapter 10. Just jump on down. 
St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword will represent destruction. Nothing but chaos. You see? Nothing but chaos. Look, you Israelites better seek the Lord, because the Lord said, there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it. You better go read Isaiah 45 and 7, and Amos chapter 3, verse 6 and verse 7. It's the Lord making all these things happen. He said, I ain't bringing peace. I'm bringing chaos. I'm bringing mayhem. And, he, and he's putting the spirit. Matter of fact, I, I do got one more. And then I got to roll after this. They're making it to where, you know what I'm saying, um, getting caught, you know what I'm saying, three times, um, being homeless, you know what I'm saying. They're making it a felony, Israel. They're making it a felony, you see, to be homeless. Uh, what, what did I want? Um, blah, 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 blah. And we need them new bodies, man. Shit. Can't remember nothing. Um, damn, man. I can't even remember what scripture I wanted, but I ain't going to stress it. That's why we got to constantly pray, you know what I'm saying, that we're kind of worthy to escape all these things. I can't remember what scripture I, I, I was going to get, but it's all good. You, 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 you see the evils, man. Evils and only evils and only evils. Remember, seek thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. I, I, I will get that, though, since I can't remember that other one. I get this. I get this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We'll just read verse 1, and then we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, and it reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, they hear already, nor the years draw nigh. That's why time is speeding up when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And that's what the majority of you Israelites are going to hear. Shalom.